Hello and welcome to the cigar area. I'm Mike Simmons and tonight one of my favorite things besides cigars skulls Las Calaveras The Skulls by Crowned Heads This is an absolutely beautiful dark rich gorgeous practically vein free Connecticut broadleaf wrapper with Nicaraguan binder and fillers which are as far as I can find pretty much undisclosed uh, this is the 6 by 46 Corona this cigar is uh, made by my father's cigar in Esteli and it was blended from what I understand by Jamie Garcia the son of uh, Pepin Garcia and who uh, has some really good cigars out on his own and uh, I've really been looking forward to this one. I just got these today from uh, the store at CigarFederation.com and I believe they're sold out at this point. I think there are only 4,500 boxes of these made. I put my order in a while ago <clears throat> and uh, they just came in today uh, with a nice Bovita Yumi pack in there. So I'm really not afraid to uh, smoke one of these without letting it rest for a while. And it wouldn't matter anyway, I'm going to smoke it anyway. As soon as I got them today, I thought, ah, I know what I'm doing tonight. But, uh, oh, I wanted to mention, hopefully it looks a lot bl brighter in here than my last review. Got a new light set up. Pretty amazing. I have to keep myself from looking at it, though, because I get these sunspots. At any rate, it smells peaty, musky. Alright, let's get this clipped and get going here. Uh, this is my first um, Las Calaveras. I have not tried the 2014 or the 2015 version of these. Although I'm a huge fan of Crown Head cigars, uh, the limited edition ones I just started picking up on a little bit this year. Uh, if you've seen my other reviews, the uh, Four Kicks, Black Belt Buckle, Headley Grange, Black Dog, those type of things. Uh, these guys, uh, I never, uh, never took the opportunity to get the uh, previous versions of these and honestly I didn't really look them up and I don't know anything about them because I'm just talking about this so it's that same peaty kind of flavor but with a nice tobacco edge oh it smells absolutely delightful. Now, I don't know if you've seen my recent videos. You know, in the summertime, it's very hot here in the cigar area. So I have this big, huge floor model air conditioner. And uh, I turn it off while I'm recording. But I have a fan over here that blows to keep the cool air in my area. But when I light these cigars now and I smoke them, the smoke comes right back in my face. So I get actually get to smell the aroma. It smells really good. Really good. Wow. 
Wow. Very potent. Very potent, rich, ultra rich tobacco flavor. Spicy from start to finish. Sharp, tangy spice. Sides, front of the tongue. Mmm. Awesome. This is this is I love this kind of a flavor in a cigar. I hope I hope it keeps up. Mm. Sweet, rich, spicy. Super sweet and spicy on that retro ale. Whew. Burned my nose. And that's saying something. I'll tell you what. This, this nose has been through some shit. And uh, for it to burn my nose coming out, it's, it's pretty potent. Mm. Caramel, leather, just a touch. Tobacco core, sharp, tangy spice. That's my initial opening. Wow. Now, uh, as you may or may not know, I when I'm doing is. I really don't read cigar reviews anymore. Unless I know it's a cigar I'm not going to smoke, or I've already reviewed it, then I might read them. But I have not read any reviews on this. I have no idea what it's supposed to taste like. The only thing I did was look it up on the page where I bought it from, uh, which is Cigar Federation. And where it says about the uh, wrapper, the binder and, and the filler. And I also saw on just breezing through on Famous Smoke Shop. I saw it on there, so I clicked on their description. Basically the same thing. Broadleaf for wrapper, undisclosed Nicaraguan binder and fillers. Talks about the, my father's cigars factory blah 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 so what you're getting here is a raw first time unblemished review now of course it's based on my taste buds which may be a bit different from yours but uh, we'll see Mm. All right, I'm sticking to that with my initial opening. Gonna first get into the first third here, and uh, be back in a couple minutes with the Las Calaveras from Crown Heads. See ya. All right, welcome back with the Las Calaveras from Crown Heads. I just lost a, a good solid inch of ash held on for about an inch a little more than an inch dropped off you can see it's it's not a perfectly straight burn but it's not really wavy it's just kind of on a little bit of an angle and that may be because of how I initially lit it uh, flavor wise all those flavors from the from the start continued into the first third we have the rich, ultra rich tobacco core, caramel, and a tangy spice, that tangy spice is still on my tongue. Front, sides, tip, and there's a sweetness to it, to the spice as well. Uh, there were some hints of leather here and there in the beginning, uh, but as I got further in, uh, a woody Kind of an oaky, woody flavor. Not not toasted. Not 
uh, charcoal wood, just a woody note here and there. Uh, basically, it's those, that first third just continued those main flavors, the earthy core of tobacco with caramel and spice which is nothing to complain about in my book. Quite tasty. Uh, so I'm going to work into the second portion here, see if we get any changes. So far, the skulls, good cigar so far. Be back. Okay, welcome back with the Las Calaveras. Skulls. The skulls. I like skulls. I'm going to take this uh, band off right now. Uh, second portion of a cigar had similar flavors to the to the first. The base core tobacco flavor. It's so. I can't even put into words how rich and earthy it is. Spice is tapered off a bit, but it's still there. It's still feeling on my tongue, but it's not as it doesn't have that tang to it that it <clears throat> had it earlier in the cigar. Uh, the uh, occasional wood flavor that was popping up in the first third that became more pronounced in the second third. And also uh, the uh, caramel flavor still present. It's a nice underlying sweetness there. But <laughs> this is going to sound funny, but in this second portion, the flavor that popped up occasionally, several times actually it wasn't constant but it, but it was an occasional pop up was was toasted marshmallow uh, just kind of blew my mind but there you go As you can see the burn, very straight, not razor, razor sharp, but very straight. The ash falls off at about an inch. Every inch just boom, falls off like clockwork. Uh, last one actually ended up in my lap, but they have this sometimes. I have this lots of times. I'm a big fan of Instagram, Mr. Rail Against Technology guy, big Instagram fan. I've been seeing a lot, a lot, a lot of people posting pictures of, of these cigars. Um, not where they got them, I don't know. I know I got mine from Cigar Federation and they are sold out. Uh, these would go for about nine and a quarter piece. I got a five pack. It was forty six twenty five, I think, for the five pack. Um, I'm glad I got the five pack because I'm enjoying the hell out of this. It's a good tasting cigar. Um, seeing how it's in limited edition, that makes it valuable in my personal opinion to justify the price very well made cigar very tasty uh, some surprising flavors in there oh almost forgot about this one in right not too long after I turned off the camera starting the second portion anise bursts of anise for about uh, maybe five or six puffs almost halfway into the second portion and then that turned into the uh, 
the toasted marshmallow appearances. So, quite a array and array of flavors I've been experiencing here. And once again, I've said this a thousand times, my taste buds may not be equal to yours in one way or another. They may be, mine may be more sensitive, mine may be less sensitive. I know um, back when I was reading other reviews, and when I do, I still read some, and you know, when you read Cigar Aficionado and, uh, and uh, some of the bigger ones, uh, these guys are like sommeliers of cigars, you know, the, like a wine expert can taste all these nuances. Well, apparently these guys can taste all these little nuances that I often miss. You know, they'll, they'll smoke a cigar and they'll have 22 different flavors pop up. Um, I, I don't always get that. In fact, I don't get that very often. <laughs> Sometimes I do, and it's great. You know, it's nice when you get all those different flavors. I'm getting a lot of different flavors from this. But sometimes you get earthy and spicy, or coffee and spice, or leather. You know, easily recognizable flavors that, that are prominent and constant. And sometimes that's all I get from the cigar. And that's not necessarily a bad thing. I like those kind of flavors. But when I get ones that have these little things pop up, like, like this one doesn't have them, but you know, some recently I did a couple that had some, some floral. I hate to use the jargon, floral notes. But how else do you say it? it tastes like flowers. Uh, I was very surprised to taste that. Um, the first time I tasted citrus, I was surprised, but I've tasted citrus several times since that first time. So, I, maybe it was just that I never smoked a cigar that had those flavors, or maybe my palate wasn't ready for them, or I wasn't as open to trying to, you know, discern what these, these flavors are. I read, I read a great article. I can't remember where it was, but it said about tasting cigars, but about flavors. Like there's, there's sweet and there's salty. There's, you know, um, spicy and there's, you know, they, they had like five different comparisons. I wish I would have saved that or made a note of it because it was pretty good. If I could find it again, I'll, I'll try to share it. it some point in the video uh, but but it made a lot of sense uh, if you don't try to look too deeply into these things sometimes they'll just appear for you uh, another good way to get flavors is to use the retrohale by, by blowing smoke out through your nose you bring more of your olfactory senses in to play and it allows you to taste some things you might not taste if you're just blowing smoke right out of your mouth. Uh, so blah blah blah. Anyway. Hmm. Lovely. Gonna hit up the final third. I'll be back shortly. All right back in the final third <clears throat> of the Las Calaveras the skulls from crowned heads uh, final third pretty much like the second third the, the base flavor all the way through this is a very rich deep earthy tobacco flavor it's an underlying sweetness which I liken to caramel carried through the entire cigar. Uh, tangy spice in the beginning, less tangy in the middle, and it's the spice is pretty much tapered off but yet I still get the same sensation on my tongue. 
as I had all the way through even though it's not as spicy as it was uh, more of the wood flavor that oaky kind of a wood texture flavor to it in the third final third uh, the marshmallow that didn't pop up anymore uh, none of the other pop-up flavors really came in in the final third just pretty much uh, uh, the uh, tobacco core flavor was prominent with, with a little underlying sweetness in there um, it's not hot it's not burning hot there's no residue still pretty nice even burn and the ash fell off you know about an inch at a time almost like clockwork so I said this is about nine bucks for these but they are limited edition only so many produced um, so when they're gone they're gone I don't I, I don't think they're gonna make another batch of them so this is something that's interesting to you if you tried the other two uh, previous years versions and want to do a comparison be a good smoke to try very tasty burned well um, glad I bought the five pack because I, I definitely enjoyed it and uh, had a nice complex uh, mishmash of <laughs> flavors popping up here and there everything from from uh, leather and caramel to anise and marshmallow wood spice earth tobacco nice uh, I, I seen uh, I, I think this is a, a full marketed as full body or medium to full I, I think the two different sites I looked at one said medium to full and the other one said full it is it is pretty potent uh, at least high-end medium to full um, definitely not full-on you know full body full strength like a diesel or a man of war or something you know like that but potent nonetheless so there you have it Las Calaveras good cigar uh, I would recommend trying one if you can get a hold of them. Uh, I know a lot of the places I buy cigars from so many different online stores, but most of them have been putting up their notice that they have them in stock. So they may not be in stock for long because there aren't that many of them. Blended by Jamie Garcia, made at the My Father cigar factory in Esteli, Nicaragua by the Crown Heads Las Calaveras so I'm Mike Simmons this is the cigar area and I have to say I really love this new light I got you know I had one of those little square LED jobs it's like 16 little bulbs in it ran by battery but it just kept getting continually dimmer I recharged the battery to full strength put it in didn't get any brighter so I rigged up a desk lamp that wasn't really working either so I went on Amazon and I bought a uh, it's actually a set of two this is what blows my mind it has one of those curly cube bulbs about six inches long it has the little white umbrella you know it's a setup for a you know photography or video studio type thing two units but I'm only using one and it's like BAM very bright it came with stand very nice stand for each light the unit that holds the bulb with multiple ways to attach it to the stand very adjustable by height umbrella and the bulb 
two of these, 38 bucks. Two of them. I paid $49 for that LED thing. For this little LED light that didn't even last six months. It lasted six months. I only need one of these, so I can use this until it burns out and then I have another one. What a deal. At any rate, thanks for tuning in. <laughs> I digress so much. I apologize. But uh, it's just nice having a nice bright light here. Check out my other videos on YouTube, scarary.com. I still did not get the prize up for the July, but it's going to be a stinky ashtray with one cigar rest. It's a single smoker stinky brand ashtray. It's a nice uh, silver this little holder for your little rest for your cigar. Nice little unit. Uh, we'll get that up on the website one of these days, but come on, send me an email, I'll enter the contest. What do you got to lose? You might win an ashtray. Till next time, thanks for tuning in. Happy smoking. <laughs>